सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन नेवर मिस एन अपडेट हेलो गाइस दिस इज एन पिचन हाउ आर यू आई गेस ऑल आर वर्किंग एंड ऑल आर सेफ एंड गुड ओके लेट्स मूव इन टू द टॉपिक्स टुडे आई हैव टेकन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ यूनियंस इन लॉज ऑफ अलजेब्रा ऑफसेट बिफोर दिस आई हैव आल्सो मेड वन वीडियो also we i discuss the properties of inclusion and uh, equilateral relations of uh, laws of algebra of sets so today i have taken okay properties of unions and properties of intersections these are also very very important uh, i'll teach you the properties of unions okay once you know the uh, procedure how to do then definitely okay you can complete the properties of intersections also right so let's move so before okay moving okay into the proofs of uh, the properties of the union these all the properties of unions these all are the properties of in intersections okay we are going to prove these properties right before going to prove the properties we have to see the key points as usual okay i tell you okay key points key points here definitions okay you can say definition of a union b and definition of a intersection b we need okay only these two definitions okay for today's topic so that's why i have written okay only these two right so definitions in set builder form either you can see the definitions in set builder form or you can see the symbolical definition of a union b and a intersection b a union b uh, is equal to x such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b here you can't write and if you write here and then absolutely wrong okay so, so or okay a intersection b is equal to x as that x belongs to a and x belongs to b this is according to the definitions of the intersect definition of the intersection right so this is the definition in set builder form right here okay so in case of the intersection write down and don't write or if you write okay or instead of and then absolutely wrong okay so these two are the key points let's move okay using the definition today we will use the definition uh, to prove the uh, these properties right so let's prove Mm, proofs. First one, very simple. A intersection A is equal. I'll use the definition. Sorry, yes, union. Uh, this is okay. I'm going to prove. Okay, of this, these okay properties. A union. The first one is A union is equal to. I'll use this definition. X such that X belongs to A. Or x belongs to a. The same thing. So repeating here x belongs to a or x belongs to a. Now according to the definition, a union a. So simply we can write down the a and easy equal to a. So simple. So therefore, a union a is equal to a. The same thing you can do here. Same thing you can do here, right? So okay. And uh, next one. Second, a union phi is equal to x as that x belongs to a or x belongs to phi. And here I am going to do one thing. Okay, listen to me, everybody. Uh, this is the case of subset. Okay, and this one is a, and here okay b. So if you see the diagram, okay. So already okay, we have discussed okay. In all your video, okay, I told you okay very well about the subsets. Okay, here a and b. So using this diagram, we can say a a subset of b because okay a is right inside the b means okay b contains a a is contained in b, right? So a subset of b. In this case, okay, intersection will be a. This will be subset a subset of b. A will be the okay subset will be the intersection. And the uh, result of the intersection and the uh, superset. This is called okay superset. Okay, B is the superset of A. B will be your superset will be your union of the result, right? Union of A and B. Okay. So if they are subset of each other, right? I mean, sorry, subset of each other, not if A is subset of B, then A is called okay, A is subset of B, then A is subset of B. So and then B is called your superset of A. And here A will be the intersection of A and B. and b will be the union of a and b right okay so <coughs> if 
फाइव इज एज बी नो द फाइव इज द सबसेट ऑफ एवरी सेट सो दैट्स वाई रिजल्ट विल बी योर ओके है ना एक्स सब्जेक्ट एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए सिंपली और ये रीजन ओके सिंस फाइव इज सबसेट ऑफ ए ओके सो सिंपली ए यू विल गेट देयर फॉर ए यूनियन फाइव इज इक्वल टू ए एंड द सेम थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी हैपन इन थर्ड आल्सो uh a union u u is your universal set x is there just using definition x belongs to a or x belongs to u you can write down here x is there x belongs to u because u is subset of a uh, so sorry a is subset of u okay since a is subset of u right u contains a that's why okay a, x belongs to a or x belongs to u means simply you can write the x such that x belongs to u because okay a is contained in u u is your universal set so simply you can write down a therefore a union u is equal to u okay now i'm going to next one i guess you understood so i need to give space right uh, all right <coughs> and fourth one very important fourth one uh, say how to prove okay and we know a is subset of a union b is common sense a is subset of a union b and b is also subset of a union b right uh, so we need okay that's why we need given uh what's the given this part is given here So this is a given part, okay? A union B is zero five. So A union B is empty set, right? So there is nothing. Uh, A union B is equal to five. Let's just second, okay? So from first and second, from first and second, <coughs> sorry, we can write down, okay? A subset of A union B is equal to five. implies from here this is subset of this one this is equal to they are equal so we can write down okay a subset of 5 so already we have written okay we know right so there okay we can write down okay a is equal to y we have proved okay in all your video if any set is subset of empty set then that set is also equal to empty okay sir so, uh since we can write down okay Phi is subset of a. That's why equal. Reason also I have written right. A subset of phi. Why you have written here a is equal to phi? Because phi is subset of a. Then a and phi are subset of each other. And uh, according to the definition, according to the property of uh, right, uh, uh, inclusion and equality relations, we can say uh, they are equal, right? Okay. So if any. Two subsets are uh, sorry. Any two sets are subset of each other. Then we can say they are equal. They are also same. Okay. A is subset of phi and phi is subset of a. That's why okay we can write down a is equal to phi. Okay. Again. Again. Not only a subset of a union b. In a union b, b is also subset of a union b. Because okay, you find all elements in A union B, right? Every element of B is also an element of A union B. You can do yourself, okay? You can take an example, then find A union B, then check the elements, right? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So this one, okay. Now well, we know this also, and uh, again this, and the given, okay, we have given is your A union B is equal to five, and from here we can write down there for Uh, b is also oh, b subset of a union b a union b is equal to phi given implies b subset of phi implies we can write on b is equal to phi since phi is subset of b phi is also subset of b because phi is by hypothetical you okay, phi is the uh, subset of any set right so okay and uh, here This one okay, you can say this one is okay third, and because one two we have written here, and this one is a four, and a from, and so finally okay we can say no need to write down also one and four. Finally we can say hence, 
ए यूनियन बी इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव इंप्लाइज इफ यूनियन ऑफ टू सेट्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव इज एन एम पी टी सेट देन डेफिनेटली ओके इज एम पी टी एंड बी इज ऑल्सो एम पी टी सेट ओके राइट सो वट टेल्स ओके दिस प्रॉपर जी दिस टेल्स ओके इफ ए यूनियन बी इज एम पी टी सेट देन डेफिनेटली ओके ए इज एम पी टी सेट एंड बी इज ऑल्सो एम पी टी सेट ओके सो वी हैव प्रूव ऑल्सो दिस वे वी कैन प्रूव राइट एंड नाउ नेक्स्ट ओके फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स प्रॉपर्टीज सो दिस आर वेरी सिंपल ओके फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स सो आई गेस नाउ यू आर क्लियर नाउ आई नीज फेस आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सपंज फिफ्थ वन ए यूनियन बी जस्ट लेट्स यूज द डेफिनेशन एक्स सच दैट एक्स बिलोंग्स टू ए और एक्स बिलोंग्स टू बी सो इन दिस केस ऑर्डर डजेंट मैटर वी कैन आई डोट x belongs to b or x belongs to a and now okay by using the definition we can write down b union a so therefore a union b is equal to b union a this property is called the commutative property of sets right commutative property okay this property is called your commutative property commutative property let also i put it commutative laws से So let's apply the yogi form uh, formula. Your definition: X belongs to A union B, or X belongs to C. So now, now here we can use yogi okay, X as that. So use a small bracket. Don't use curly bracket. Just small bracket because we are going to expand this. We are going to use the formula here. Definition: X belongs to X as that. X belongs to A. And uh, a or x belongs to b or x belongs to c here. I'll say a little bit. Okay, a small bracket. Now just we have to shift the brackets like this. We can write down x belongs to a or x belongs to b or x belongs to c. Like this, we have to write down. Okay, and you you need to just okay shift the bracket and you need to keep okay x belongs to a alone or this way. X such that X belongs to A, or here you may write down okay, na? Here we can write down X belongs to okay definition right B union C, B union C because X belongs to B or X belongs to C according to the definition of union we can write down we can write down B union C is equal to okay so it's all right okay now okay definition uh, X belongs to A or X belongs to B union C, B union C. Oh, okay. X belongs to A or X belongs to second set. This means okay, we can write down okay, uh, A union B union C. So therefore, A union B, ah, uh, union C is equal to A union, ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, B union C within bracket. Ah, uh, this is also called okay, right? Ah, uh, associative. Ah, uh, associative law. This proper, this property is also called okay, associative property, right? Associative property of sets, okay? So sets, okay? So from here, uh, from these two, and the set satisfy, okay? Set satisfy your commutativity and associativity also, right? so i guess now you are clear okay how to prove okay all these okay right properties of unions and intersection also same okay right and now you can do very easily yourself so easy and this one also easy and here listen to me here here okay you will get a and like this one okay so don't get confused okay here uh, if you get okay this type of then okay 
uh, you will use the definition x as that x belongs to A and OK because in this section and OK and x belongs to pi. Uh, you know right OK which one is subset OK here yeah. right like OK as I told you A union B here OK A intersection B is equal to because A is subset of B in this case and A union B is equal to B. A subset of B, A contains in B, right? Here, okay, phi contains in A, phi subset, so phi is common. You will write down, okay, X as that, X belongs to phi, right? Reason, you need to give it, okay, phi subset of A, right? So, is equal to phi. So, like this way, you can do. And uh, the same thing, here also, A intersection U is equal to A. Here also, you can do, okay, very easily, the, using this uh, subset concept, okay? And uh, this property is commutative additive. As I have done, okay, here the same thing you have to apply. This property is called your associative property. The exactly the same thing you need to do as I have done here, right? So listen to me, okay. This property is called your idempotent property. A union A is equal to A, right? If anything is uh, uh, okay, operated with itself and result is also itself, that property is called your idempotent property, right? And uh, A union phi is equal to A, A union U is equal to U. And uh, these two, right, identity properties. And here also A U intersection U is equal to A and uh, A intersection phi is equal to phi, okay. Identity properties, okay. If any two, if any two things are plated by any sign and the result is one of them, that property is called your uh, identity property. I guess you understood, right? Identity. I uh, important, right? If anything is operated with itself, result is itself. Then I important because here A is operated with A because A we have okay A union A operated means okay here union right operation is union here A union A is equal to A right? Just like okay if I write okay zero plus zero is equal to zero. This property is called your idempotent property because zero is operated okay with zero, zero is added with zero, and result is also zero, right? This property is called your idempotent okay property, right? And here a union phi because okay, there are two things, okay, two different things, but result is one of them. Yeah, two different things, but result is one of them. Okay, identity property, identity properties. Here also same case, uh, idempotent identity. Identity here yeah, commutative associative commutative associative this the um, uh, this the truth of the uh, truth case of uh, properties of unions right so for this we don't have any particular of the property name of the properties right name of the property okay and identity property like okay if I add okay one plus zero is equal to one this is called your identity property because one is added to added okay. Uh, zero and the result is one. When the result is one of them, right? Identity. Like one time zero is equal to zero. Result is one of them, okay? Two numbers, but result is one of them, okay? This type of okay property is called your identity property, okay? Uh, so, name of properties also I told you, and how to prove these properties also I have explained. I guess now you have a no problem. If any problem, okay, don't hesitate to ask questions, okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. Bye bye. Have a wonderful time.